Welcome back to my channel and I hope you all are doing fine as I am doing super duper good. So in today's video I am going to review yet another product but this is not going to be a lipstick review video. This is going to be a foundation review video. So if you are interested make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and now without any further ado let's get started. So the product today which I have with me to review is uh, the Sugar Cosmetics Ace of the Face Foundation. This is how the foundation looks like and this is the outer carton of the foundation. A uh, very chic and very uh, creative uh, kind of logo right here or graphic right here and the logo is also there of the Sugar Cosmetics and here you are finding the uh, shade number. So I am in the shade 04 Breve which is a bang on match for my skin tone. So if you are NC40 to 42, this shade is going to suit you a lot. And it does have the yellow kind of a base. So I really like it for my skin tone. It matches my skin tone very nicely, complements my skin tone very nicely. So if you are NC42, it would suit you perfectly. NC40, I think, the shade cappuccino would be uh, your shade anyways this is the outer packaging and you can use this foundation for three years and also this retails for 9.99 and 12 grams is the quantity which you are getting in uh, this product so this is the outer packaging let's keep this aside the main product is this one which is a matte black packaging and this is how the foundation looks like looks unique again you are having the shade number and also this foundation is made in korea shade number is also mentioned right here so earlier there were only five shades but as and when uh, they launched this foundation i think they launched in 2017 i'm not sure about it or 2018 so earlier there were only five shades and after that they came up with more shades so you will definitely find your shades i think it is available in 11 shades i will mention if it's available in more shades uh, so yes that's about the packaging so when you open it one side you are going to get your foundation so again uh, as you know it's a stick foundation this is how the foundation looks like I have used it quite a lot but still I have so much of it left in my bullet yes this is how this is the quantity you are getting and this foundation um, it melts in summer so you need to be very careful you need to keep this foundation in a cooler place like refrigerator and one side you are going to get this brush uh, which I haven't used because I think it's very stiff so I don't know how it is going to work so uh, today for my application I use my pack 265 brush which you will see in the application part of course so uh, this is how uh, this looks like uh, now I'll tell you uh, the pros and cons but first you need to see the application part where I'm applying this uh, product and I'm also going to tell uh, how to apply uh, this product in the application part only. So let's move towards the application. Uh, so I have applied a very thick layer of moisturizer so make sure even if you are an oily a type uh, girl you need to apply loads of moisturizer before applying this particular foundation especially in uh, if you are living in colder countries then you have to have to use uh, a very heavy uh, moisturizer underneath so make sure you do that so after applying that I'm going to apply this foundation and uh, yep this is how it looks like. One more tip I want to give you whenever you are applying uh, this foundation. So you have to work in sections. Don't apply it on your whole face. Otherwise it will be very very um, drying I would say.
okay so um it's uh, not that blendable but it's fine like if you are using a brush i am using this pack 265 brush so if you are using a brush it will give you the maximum coverage i don't use a beauty blender especially with stick foundations because i think they just don't um uh, go very well with that so my personal choice is to use a brush with this so i'm going to use a brush but if you want you can use beauty blender as well but i would recommend using a brush uh, and the shade is a pretty good match for me so uh, as you can see as you can tell the difference uh, this side i don't have any foundation on so you can see some kind of redness on my skin yeah if you can see here is some kind of redness and here also but this side is more even because i have applied this foundation so yes it uh, does uh, do it does a pretty pretty good job in covering my redness so i'm going to apply same foundation on my one side as well and we'll be right back uh, so i generally don't set this foundation with any kind of powder but uh, if you are going for a party or a marriage function uh, you make sure that you uh, powder your um, this under eye area as well as this area near your mouth otherwise it will crease from your mou mouth area if you have crease lines it will definitely definitely crease so i would suggest to apply a very basic loose powder or a compact as well but i prefer using a loose powder if i am going to any marriage or something like that I just lightly dust it I don't uh, bake my face with it Yes, so after doing this, what it does uh, is it just control your oil secretion as well as your uh, creasing. So that is why it's very necessary to powder a little bit your face. Not too much, but a little bit is uh, fine. So now I will be back with my makeup and we are going to do a full day wear challenge. But I am starting this video very, very late. So I don't know how it is going to be but i'm going to give you my last update as well so i hope you have seen the application part now let me just uh, give you my opinion on uh, this particular um, uh, makeup stick foundation so first of all uh, i'm not a very i wasn't a very huge fan of stick foundations uh, because as you know i have i had the uh, makeup revolution stick foundation which was too 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 creamy for me and uh, hailing from oily skin type to normal skin type family uh, my skin uh, sweats a lot yes it sweats a lot and it's my skin is normal but then in summers i sweat profusely so i can't take any risk so i can't apply this foundation in summers but again one more thing i want to tell that if you are from dry skin family I think you're not going to you're not going to like this foundation you need to prep your skin a lot you need to apply too many moisturizer or a very thick layer of moisturizer before applying it so it's November in Delhi nee, obviously November <laughs> but in Delhi um, the weather is a little bit pleasant it's a little bit cooler so that that's when I can apply this foundation and my face looks very very healthy you can see uh, but again, I need to do a lot of skincare before applying this foundation. And yeah, I also need to apply um, a mist to hydrate my skin so that my skin skin would, would breathe a lot uh, if I have this foundation on. And another good thing about this foundation is it feels lightweight. Yes, it just feels as if you're not having anything. Like when I'm touching my face, I can feel that I feel that I don't have anything. So it's not heavy. Unlike other stick foundation, it's very, very lightweight. It will feel as if your own skin. And uh, yeah, using a right, uh, right amount of powder, you can also set your foundation uh, just to avoid uh, creasing. So this is a very good thing of this foundation. One more thing is, so uh, it is buildable foundation. All right. But you need to uh, have a very, very... Uh, 
steady hand while applying this one because uh, you can go overboard with this stick foundation and it is generally it is the case with another other stick foundation as well you tend to get a little bit heavier and you don't know where to stop so you need to be very careful while applying this because uh, you can go a little overboard with this particular foundation if you want to apply a little bit tad but you can also apply that and again um, use your moisturizer so then on low, then also this is going to work uh, pretty well and if you want a full coverage you can also build it on but i don't like building this foundation on there's always a but because i feel it just cake up around my mouth area yeah it just cakes up around my mouth area so that's why i don't uh, like applying um more than one layer yes i work in layers so i i don't apply more than one layer because i don't like that feeling of you know um being cakey so this uh, coverage is perfect for me i'm happy with this coverage it does accentuate pores especially around my forehead i don't have major pore issues but a little bit pore issues here on my forehead so it does accentuate those but not to a great extent so all in all i really like this foundation and the total wear power of this foundation is 8 hours i'm also going to give you my check in in this video if i can so uh, yes i wore this foundation around 1 o'clock and it's right now um, 4 o'clock so yeah i haven't got oily and you can see my my uh, concealer okay i haven't applied concealer today my blush my highlighter go went very well and yeah also my bronzer went very well so all in all i really like the coverage and the finish of this foundation i never wore it during summer days because i don't like to wear foundation on like day to day basis uh, but in winters i still can in summers i just can't wear any foundation so i just avoid foundation in summers so all in all i really love this foundation uh, it being a stick foundation uh, it is not at all heavy it's very nice feels like your skin so i would definitely recommend you even if you are oily skin type you can pull off this foundation in summers um until unless you don't sweat too much i have this problem this is you know i don't know i just sweat profusely no one sweats like this the way i sweat so that is about the video i hope you guys like it if i can i will um, give you a check in but uh, yeah you can wear this foundation straight for 6 to 8 hours it would look phenomenal on your skin and uh, would i uh, recommend this foundation 100% yes you should definitely give this foundation a try it's travel friendly as well so uh, you don't you are not there's no way you can waste product uh, just i feel if you have a acne issue it can get a little hygienic so i would suggest to use your brush and take the product like this and then apply on your face so that your uh, uh, pimple do not uh, spread all over that is about the video i hope you guys like it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel i'll see you guys in my next video till then you guys take care love you guys so much bye